Hi folks, my name is Seamus McNabb and I'm the Head of Infrastructure at Mycelium. Before jumping into this presentation, I'd just like to say a sincere thank you to the organisers of this event, uh, as well as those at Chainlink, past and present, who have supported Mycelium in all of our endeavours so far. Lastly, thank you to each and every one of you for being here today, whether it be remote or sitting in front of me right now. Without further ado, I'm very eager and very, very proud to present to you Mycelium, the past, the present, and the future. Mycelium has been building financial smart contracts for quite a few years now, and in this time, we have noticed just how clear the lack of adoption is when it comes to our industry's foundational infrastructure. Mycelium has been and always will be eager to bring the best of smart contracts and the best of DeFi to everyday users. We've been laying down some critical key financial infrastructure for the past few years. We've also been supporting networks as a Chainlink node operator and running key validators. To be more specific on Mycelium's journey to date, I'll quickly flash over the last few years with you. After initially taking an interest in smart contracts in 2019, how to build them, how to write them, how they can be used, how they can be integrated, we started participating in the Chainlink network as a node operator in 2019. We went online as Mycelium node. It was from this vantage point that we saw the emergence of DeFi and the incredible technology that underpins it. We then went on to deploy our own decentralized derivative smart contracts that help people manage their risk and give them access to more financial markets. In 2021, we deployed perpetual pools, followed shortly in 2022 by Mycelium's perpetual swaps. In 2022, we've also been working on some incredible products that we'll get to later in this. All of these products and all of our future products come back to the vision of Mycelium, of which we are the connective tissue for global digital markets. Now, what on earth does that mean? What on earth do I mean by the connective tissue for global digital markets? In this example, let's take for this instance, fuel markets, a real world market. We want to be, to be able to give everyday users access to lock in fuel prices for one month, for six months, for 12 months. Smart contracts and oracles can bring these markets to life. We want real world risk events to integrate with smart contracts and Chainlink have provided the infrastructure and the vision to enable this to happen. Today, as Mycelium, we find ourselves having built this infrastructure for crypto assets, and we are slowly making our way forward into the world of real world assets. We see a world of evolving market infrastructure where everything is fluid, everything is connected, just like a network. To take some words, from Sergey from a Bankless episode in 2022, smart contracts, Oracle's blockchains, create economic fairness and transparency for everyday people. Crop insurance doesn't exist in many parts of the world because local legal systems don't provide enough collaboration. People's ability to pursue their economic goals is limited because they cannot manage risk. With smart contracts and Oracle's, we can codify all the conditions into a smart contract and open up this universe of new commercial relationships. From the start, Mycelium has shared this vision that both Sergey and Chainlink have so clearly and carefully laid out over the past few years. At Mycelium, we want to see financial smart contracts that enable people to manage their own risk. We want to give them access to more financial markets. Ultimately, opening up new opportunities for people, promoting economic freedom, promoting individual choice. The team at Mycelium have been building and iterating over these ideas over the last few years. In 2019, we were a winner of a Chainlink Global Hackathon. 2020, we were a winner of the ETH Denver Hackathon. And in 2021, we were supported by Chainlink in being one of the first protocols to deploy to Arbitrum. With Chainlink support, we are making this happen. So, where are we on this mission to become the connective tissue for global digital markets? We are extremely proud and extremely excited to see smart contracts, including Mycelium's, continue to be adopted for financial use cases. 
Mycelium's derivative contracts have been wildly successful, well, in our eyes, at least. Since deploying our two decentralized derivative smart contracts, we have seen $1.6 billion in value flow through them. <laughs> Thank you very much, Eric. <laughs> uh, this has all been secured, of course, uh, by Chainlink's price feed data. We're also extremely proud to announce that we've had zero smart contract code exploits to date. Security is of utmost importance to us. We take it extremely seriously. We've had audits by runtime verification, audits by Sigma Prime, as well as an ongoing audit by Trail of Bits. We want to give the people who use our product, the traders who use our product, the faith that they can use our product the way that it is intended to be used. Oops, sorry, one second. Um, so Mycelium Node. Mycelium Node was our initial foray into the world of Web3. Um, it is one of the main aspects of our connective tissue, as we call it at Mycelium. As we briefly touched on, Mycelium Node has been supporting Chainlink as a node operator since 2019. Since then, we have proudly supported the ecosystem and worked with some of the brightest minds and the best teams in this decentralized infrastructure industry. Since my time at Mycelium, my role has mainly been based with Mycelium Node, um, and I have nothing but the greatest respect for everyone else who operates in this industry and in this space. We are on the bleeding edge of technology, building and working on things that nobody has ever built or worked on before, and we are paving a way into a world in which we want to live. In saying that, it has also been an extremely humbling experience in times, the 2 a.m., 3 a.m. pager duty alerts yelling at you from your phone, making you sprint to your laptop, pushing your partner and dogs out of the way to make sure you get to your computer on time, and making sure the entire financial system has not broken. I mean, it's a bit of fun. Um, and also on top of that, there's also not been a lack of road bumps along the way as well. Take it back a few years to the Black Thursday event. Take it back a few months to Terra doing Terra things for days on end, um, as well as just it may just be a very volatile market at the time. Um, you know, we might chew through 10 ETH in 15 minutes, which makes every node operator run to battle stations, make sure every single node is funded, and just watch it for hours. It has been an absolutely wild ride being a Chainlink node operator, but it is a ride that I would 100% take 1,000 times over given the chance. Throughout this time at Mycelium Node, we've provided price feed data for over 11, or, sorry, for 11 blockchains. Um, including Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, Binance, Terra, Rest in Peace, among others. Over these networks, uh, we've also provided 800 unique data feeds, and we've now submitted close to 20 million successful transactions to update these, part, these, these price feeds, which in our eyes is a huge milestone. It was running this infrastructure and connecting with protocols and individuals, as well as the talented teams out there, that gave us what we think is an incredible ground level understanding of DeFi and smart contracts. With this understanding, it led to our first deployments of our completely new derivative product, Perpetual Pools. We launched a new decentralized derivative smart contract that enables tokenized derivative positions called a perpetual pool. This meant that any Oracle price feed created and supported by Chainlink could be used to support and create an entirely new market. Mycelium Perpetual Pools was one of the first products live on Arbitrum, and since its inception, it has seen more than 800 million in notional volume, and it also, more importantly, facilitated our first deployment of our first real-world asset, being that of the WTI oil derivative. This then led on to our next product, Mycelium Perpetual Swaps. Since the launch of Mycelium Perpetual Swaps in August, we are extremely, extremely happy to announce its initial successes. The product has seen more than 17 million in TVL, more than 800 million in total value traded, and over 1 million in product revenue in just over a month of going live. Along this road, we have had fantastic and incredible advisors, including Arthur Hayes himself, the father of perpetual swaps. But even with this, this success in our eyes, we want nothing more and we are determined to keep on building and keep on iterating upon this product. We want to continually build out new features for traders and users of the platform. 
One of these features that we've currently built out or have recently built out is MLP, Mycelium's Liquidity Pool. MLP, in short, is a crypto index that earns yield. The index itself comprises of Ethereum, Bitcoin, Link, other blue chip crypto assets, as well as stable coins. All of these prices are supported by Chainlink's price data feed. So far, in MLP, we have seen 17 million depositors, earning MLP depositors up to 30% APR on their blue chip assets, just from trading fees alone. MLP itself enables perpetual swap trading on the platform, which allows users to borrow from this fund to then go long or short on certain assets. MLP rewards are distributed to LPs every two weeks, earning 70% of the protocol revenue, which over the last two weeks has been 280,000 US dollars given back to LPs as rewards. And just to reiterate on this point, these fees are coming directly from traders interacting with MLP. This is what we call real yield. None of this has come from token yield. The incredible thing about DeFi is that these yields can and should be opened up to everyday people. Anyone with an internet connection, anyone who can connect to smart contracts can interact with them. And it's obvious that users have started making the most of these interactions. Just over six weeks post-launch, as I spoke to earlier, we have 17 million in liquidity from hundreds of unique users. We're extremely proud of this fact because it ensures diversified liquidity for our traders and also makes sure that they're not reliant on a single counterparty. Zooming out on the efficacy of this, it's much more than just a highly reliable counterparty because typically in traditional finance, um, very few firms have the access or the infrastructure to be able to partake in these types of opportunities. We at Mycelium want to open up these type of opportunities to everyone. MLP is one of our ways of doing this, and we are so, so excited to keep on evolving these products. With these numbers in mind, just a quick little shout out. If anyone is interested, I'd love you guys to get in contact with Josh or Billy, who are also here from Mycelium, as well as myself afterwards, if you want to know anything more. So this begs the question, where to next for Mycelium? On our journey to bring this technology, this incredible technology closer to people, we are pushing forward and we're going to go mobile. We're incredibly proud of the progress that we've made to date in, high, in offering highly efficient DeFi products. But we have such a long, long way to go to fully realize our vision of being the connective tissue between this global digital markets. We need to connect to people. We need to make DeFi accessible to everyone. Tapping into your financial freedom and your financial goals should be at your fingertips. It shouldn't be through some dodgy RPC that takes 15 clicks just to accept a transaction. We estimate that 0.01% of the population are currently or have previously interacted with DeFi. And we think a move to mobile will improve these numbers considerably. That's why we're going mobile. We want to reach a larger audience, and we want to make DeFi stickier with everyday users. Thank you all so, so much for listening in. Uh, please chat to myself or Billy or Josh who are in the crowd today after this presentation to learn anything else. Please feel free to scan the QR code up there to keep on top of our product updates. Follow us on Twitter. And uh, just quietly from one link marine to another, um, we have got some very, very exciting things on the horizon um, that I would highly urge you to stay up to date with. Thank you very much. And please remember, please be sure to tap into the Mycelium Network. Thank you.